All right, so here's a quick walkthrough of the uh, virtual pinball cabinet powered by the Steam Deck with the Steam Dock and the cabinet provided by Game Room Solutions. Um, I've got a Windows install on uh, the SD card inside the Steam Deck. It is attached to a Steam Dock. After set, I used these two USB uh, on the side to attach a mouse and keyboard while I was setting everything up. Now that it's set up, I've got only one USB connected and that goes to the USB encoder inside. And then here's the HDMI cable. Inside there are three things that, that require power. It's the Steam Dock, the uh, monitor, and the amplifier, which you see right here. And there's the power, uh, power switch, also provided by Game Room Solutions. Here we go, we're gonna boot up. Just hold that down until you hear the little sound. It takes a few minutes. While we wait, that's the that's really nice side art. Looks really good. I really like the way it looks. Let's show you the whole cabinet. Here's all the buttons on the front. I have these set to uh, escape. That middle one I'm not using yet. I'm going to find a use for it. That is coin. That is play. Launch. And on each side we've got flipper and nudge. So it's about 40 seconds or so in. Windows is booted and then it's going to automatically, in the startup folder, I put uh, Joy to Key and Pin Up Popper. And any second now. Okay, so it's about one minute from boot to uh, uh, pinball launch. That's not bad. And then I'm going to go turn on the amp. <laughs> Over here we got uh, treble, bass, and volume. It could actually get pretty loud. I really like it. The, the speakers are mounted on the underside. There's just a little bit of a, uh, a gap underneath. Um, but it sounds really good. I'm actually planning, because this table is a little bit low, I'm probably going to put the cabinet on, a, on some risers just to raise it up about five or six inches just so it's a more natural uh, standing position to play. But there you go, there's a 27 inch monitor in there. This is a pinup popper running only uh, VPX. Um, and so far all the tables I've, I've tried, they run wonderfully on, um, on the Steam Deck. So I've got the play field here. Obviously you can see back glass up there. I've got the back glass and DMD on the same screen. So when you're playing the game, you don't really see the back glass. Uh, so let's go ahead and start it. We'll launch. Do Judge Dread, one of my favorite tables. And then you can see once it's loaded, there's the DMD on the on the Steam Deck. Um, then we're gonna put in coins. And then play. So I won't do a proper playthrough demo, but it runs really well. I've only got one hand. Um, yeah, it runs really well. This is, uh, I have a modded arcade one up here um, that uh, has a inferior video card um, that it doesn't run VPX well at all, but it runs FX3 really well. So that, that cabinet is 100% is FX3. This one is 100% VPX, and it's small and portable enough that you can take it wherever you want. Um, also, obviously, you could just take the uh, Steam Deck off and unplug it and use it as its own, as a just a normal Steam Deck whenever you want to, and just put it on there whenever you're ready to play pinball. I have the Steam Dock mounted with uh, heavy-duty double-sided adhesive tape so that it just stays put. Um, there you have it. It's pretty cool. I'm very happy with how this came out. This is really cool. And big shout out to Game Room Solutions for um, making this. They, they had one uh, 
a cabinet that's designed for the Nintendo Switch, which was almost perfect, but I needed one that had a, a flat top up here so that I could mount the, the Steam Deck the way you see. And they they made a custom design just for this uh, for this setup, and it came out great. I'm very pleased with it. You should check them out. All right, hope you like it. I'm going to uh, show you some of the uh, inner workings now. Okay, so assembling the uh, cabinet is really easy. Um, when it was shipped to me, it had it was very clearly labeled. You can see, I don't know how well you can read that, but everything says, you know, right side, left side, top, bottom, monitor mount, etc., front, back. Um, so all these labels make it very, very simple to put it together. Um, it just uses a bunch of these, uh, I forgot what they're called. Um, just like putting Ikea together. You screw these little things in and then they go into the, the proper slots and then you put in these, um, these little locks in the appropriate holes over here and you screw them down. So we're gonna do that. I did not record the first stages. Uh, one thing to notice is on this, there's a piece here. It's called, it's labeled support. Notice that in this, this is the one time where you want the, uh, uh, what are they called? Cam locks. So this is, this is the one spot where the cam locks are going to face on the outside. Together. It's nice and sturdy, and so that's where the monitor is going to rest, and we'll we'll get back to that later. Be careful with your pinball cabinet. And now that the cabinet is put together, it's time to start hooking up the buttons and all that fun stuff. Okay, so here it is, just before the final setup. Uh, obviously, the cabinet is assembled. I've got everything hooked up. All the buttons are hooked up. Very very easy. Each button just cut, um, the buttons and the wires and the USB encoder were all provided by Game Room Solutions. But there's there's two wires, there's black and a red, positive and negative. Uh, you put them where they're clearly supposed to go. And then on the other end is just a little block that you just stick in the USB uh, encoder. And then it comes out here, USB. I have it feeding back through the back up into the steam dock right here so that's just usb um, this is the hdmi uh, secondary display and it goes to the monitor right there i put in this uh amp you need a little uh mini jack to rca adapter for the line in and then you got to use um speaker wire you got to trim it and feed it through there it's not it's not a big deal it's easy um and then it goes to these four inch kicker speakers. Um, the cabinet also came with speaker covers underneath, uh, which look cool, but I'm not gonna turn it upside down to show it to you because that would be dangerous. Um, anyway, so yeah, I use Joy to Key to uh, hook up all the buttons as you normally would. This is uh, flipper, this is nudge, um, escape for exit. I'm only using VPX on this table. That's escape for exit. This one's not doing anything yet. I'm going to find a use for it. Coin, play, and launch. Um, anyway, so now I'll put the monitor on and show you what it looks like. And uh, I forgot to show this. The monitor is mounted on this. It goes over top of those those screws on each side. You can see there's four slots for him so that you can take the monitor up or down to make it fit according to your needs. I like it to be kind of down because it, it, it creates a false little uh, illusion of depth to the playfield. Um, so now I'm going to put the monitor on. 